a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field. Consider a square field A, B, C, D. Farmer moves along the boundary of a square field means so the path followed will be A, B, C, D, A. One round complete. We consider A as the starting point or initial point. So, if we complete one round, then path followed is A, B, C, D, A and the distance travel will be A, B plus B, C plus C, D plus D, A. And it is given square field and in square all sides are equal. Okay, and what is this? This is the perimeter of a square, right? And we know that in square all sides are equal. So distance travelled you can write it as 4 into side. So when he completes one round, distance travel will be 4 into side. So a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field. Up to here we explain of side 10 meter. That is side length of the square is given as 10 meter. It's a square, so all sides are equal. So the distance travel will be 4 into 10 unit meter is equal to 40 meter. Mark it as equation number 1. That is when he completes one round, then the distance travel will be 40 meter. Now in 40 seconds, that is, that is time taken by the farmer to cover one round is 40 seconds, right? It is time taken to cover one round along the boundary of a square field is 40 seconds. And we already explained that one round means the distance travelled is 40 meter. Time taken to cover 40 meter is 40 seconds. That is in 40 seconds distance travelled is equal to 40 meter one round. So in one second distance travel will be is 40 by 40 meter equal to 1 meter. Mark it as equation number 2. That is in 1 second distance travelled as 1 meter. Now question is to find what will be the magnitude of displacement of the farmer at the end of 2 minute 20 second. to find the magnitude of displacement at the end of 2 minute 20 second. So question is to find the displacement right. First we can find out the distance travelled because distance travel gives us the actual length covered by the farmer right. So first we can find the distance travel okay before that here given time period is 2 minute 20 second. So convert this in second we can convert this minute to second we know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, 2 minute is equal to 2 into 60 seconds equal to 2 into 6, 12 and 10, 120 seconds. So here 2 minute 20 seconds. So 2 minute 20 second is equal to 2 minute is equal to 120 second plus 20 second equal to 120 plus 20 140 second. So given time period is 140 seconds. Now consider equation 2. What is equation 2? In 1 second distance travelled is 1 meter. So in 140 second distance travel will be One forty into one meter. That is one forty meter. That is in the given time period, the distance travelled is one forty meter. Next, we can find in the given time period how much rotation he completes around the field. 
for that consider equation 1 from equation 1 we proved that one round distance traveled is 40 meter that is 40 meter means one round that is 40 meter means he cover one round around the field so one meter is equal to 1 by 40 round so 140 meter means One forty into one by forty. Cancel the common terms. Seven by two equal to three three and a half round. See the division. So three one by two round. Okay. So in the given time period distance traveled is 140 meter and 140 meter means he covered three and half round around the field that means this is our square field right so starting from a a b c d a one round again a b c d a second round next a b c d a third round three and half round so half more a b c so now its final point is at c so after completing three and a half rounds starting from A, initial point will be at A and final point will be at C. Here question is to find the displacement, magnitude of displacement. And we know that displacement depends only on the initial and final point. That is displacement is the straight line distance between initial and final point, right? That is magnitude of displacement is the length of AC. So, length of AC can be find out by considering this is a square, isn't it now? So, all these angles will be 90 degree. As it is a square, both these right angles are symmetric. So, you can consider any one of this right angle triangle and by applying Pythagoras theorem, you can find the length of AC. Consider right angle triangle ADC, ADC, right angle that D and AD 10 meter, DC also 10 meter since it is a square. Now by applying Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square, hypotenuse is AC, longest side opposite to 90 degrees AC, AC square is equal to base DC square plus altitude AD that is AC square is equal to DC 10 square plus AD 10 square 10 square is 100 so 10 100 plus 100 equal to 200 AC square is equal to 200 200 you can write it as 2 into 100 right so ac ac is root of 2 into 100 that is root 2 into root 100 that is equal to root 2 into root 100 is 10 that is equal to 10 root 2 here unit is meter meter or root 2 is 1.414 so 10 into 1.414 is equal to 14.14 meter. So the magnitude of displacement at the end of 2 minute 20 second is 14.14 meter.